Agustin Barrios and Mangore, to give him his full name, was this great Paraguayan guitarist composer, and he lived from, what, 1885 to the early 1940s. And his music is just, it's everything. He wrote in Baroque style, he wrote in 19th century romantic style, and he wrote in his own sort of semi-folk style. greatest guitar composer, in other words, guitarist who wrote guitar music, of all. He had a real feeling for form. His pieces used to balance, you never felt they were too long or too short. And melodically, they sort of used to join up. They weren't just one little clever idea. So you, his harmony is almost like a jazz musician. I used to think, uh, I still do, that a, a lot of his phrases are like Django Reinhardt the great jazz gypsy guitarist, that is that they, one tune sort of takes you without you knowing it into another part of the tune. Uh, an example would be... Uh imagination and is a very notable composer. mother was, broadly speaking, Australian, but she was half Chinese. My father was a Londoner. Of course, London in those days was the centre of empire, wasn't it? You know, even to sort of cultured left-wing people, it was the centre of, of the cultural empire. So, in 1951, 52, when we all came back to London. <laughs> the idea was my father would open a, a guitar school, uh, which he did with great success, which is, is still running. And also, there's, there's an idea to hear the great Django Reinhardt, who then was still alive. He didn't die until 1953. And Segovia, an idea of uh, me studying with Segovia was what was in my father's mind. Because the whole thing about guitar playing at that period was to be like Segovia and to follow in his image. Maestro, after 50 years, over 50 years of concert giving, uh, what are your feelings about the guitar and yourself? The guitar, I think that uh, now is at its beginning. Well, Segovia was the god, if you like. I mean, the fact that he created a repertoire, he created the guitar as a concert instrument. I mean, he tried and he was proud of me and he, you know, everything. And he was very kind and he gave me all the help and, you know, I don't take any of that away or, or regret any of it. Then, and there are other many uh, young people at the head of, we, of whom you are, my dear, 
and uh, I think the future of the guitar is already settled. But it's just one of those slightly painful things for me, even in older age, is that I have to sort of reassess and, you know, it, honesty compels me to, to, to re-examine uh, what kind of person he was and, and uh, both in terms of the teaching, obviously, which is a very important, the most important in a way, but in terms of the personality, because I think there is a clue there uh, in the personality to a lot of other things that are musical. When Segovia was in London, I would go to the Piccadilly Hotel and play for him. And I remember I played a couple of pieces. And he said, oh, you must come to Siena in Italy, where I teach at a summer school. Uh, and I'll arrange a scholarship and you can go next year. Because I was only 11 or 12 at the time. It'd be a sort of semicircle of, of people and some would be sitting in front of him playing. Looking back, and even at the time, I can see that I was aware that I've never really played what I thought was my best. I mean, if I was practicing at home, I used to sort of get into great indulgence sort of fantasies about the piece. Now, I do know the, the, the town of Cordoba and the, the mosque, the Mesquita, which is, uh, I'm sure, the inspiration for the opening quiet section of Cordoba. It's such a magical place and it's still a beautiful opening. It's got the impressionist feel, it's a beautiful tune and it's real guitar music.
music expresses the inexpressible. And I think in all ways, music can just touch a point which it's very difficult to find words for. One of the benefits of meeting musicians, not just from other countries, but other musical cultures, is that you, you can find your place. And uh, part of the fortune of being a guitarist is that while there is no really solid classical repertoire to talk of, in another way, its repertoire is unlimited. is extraordinary is that it's very extraordinary in Western music actually um, John becomes a part of the instrument and the instrument a part of him <laughs> after his last solo recital in Australia uh, a very, very distinguished guitarist said to me, you know, he said that was just extraordinary. He said that there is not one guitarist in the whole world who could do what John did last night. And that is true. <laughs> 